Twitter completely exploded with talk about the YouTuber Essa Sniper Wolf after she posted an Instagram story asking her followers if she should go visit the YouTuber Jax Films, who as many of you guys know is a YouTuber who has been heavily criticizing Essa Sniper Wolf over the past couple months. But then she did the unthinkable and not only went to his house, but posted a picture of the front of it onto her Instagram story with 5 million followers, essentially doxing Jack's films. Jack posts this censored, obviously, onto his timeline with the caption, Essa Sniper Wolf just doxed me on her Instagram. Creepy, gross, violating. What you do is disgusting. You steal content and stalk YouTubers. YouTube demonetized this dangerous creator. Or just get her off your platform. She posted an Instagram story right outside her home and deleted it. She literally posted a video of the outside of our house for all of her 5.6 million followers to see, then deleted it. In what universe do you think that's okay? In what reality do you live in where you think this behavior is justified? It's time to get her off the platform. She's no longer a silly creator that steals content, teehee. She's a creep that stalks and threatens her critics. Nah, fuck that. Time to get her off YouTube. Tubbo reacts to this by saying, fucking brain broken behavior, what the fuck? Mango says, absolutely insane. I hope you take legal action as well, if at all possible. Iza says, it's not just you, it's Aaron, your dogs, your family. Like, this is so disgusting, and she is once again only thinking of herself. What a joke. Leanne Starr says, he needs to come out with the dirt. Fucker, dude. My brain melted says, she looks like she just farted and is hoping no one notices. Pegasus responds to Jack's films by saying, Sniper Wolf is actually going to jail, laughing my ass off. What a moron. Turkey Tom then ratios him and says, no, she's not. Oompaville quote tweets Jack's films and says, imagine if one of us burly men did this to her, laughing my ass off jail time. What a fucker. Philip DeFranco says, this is genuinely insane and reckless behavior. Mudahar says, she's unhinged. Criticism doesn't have to elevate to showing up to anyone's house. YouTube needs to shut down this crap. Rhino responds by saying, YouTube when called out to ban Sniper Wolf, showing a shy dog, and then YouTube banning small YouTubers for playing two second licensed music in the background, showing a mob boss. Diablo responds by saying, she ghosted a 10 year old girl who was dying from cancer. That alone should tell you how bad of a person she is. Wavy Websurf quote tweets Jack's films and says, lol bro didn't fumble the bag. The motherfucker got the hell out of Dodge. She is crazy. Showing a picture of Sniper Wolf next to her ex-boyfriend who left her. Cinnamon Toast Ken responds to Jack by saying, what the fuck? Mischief responds to the situation by saying, Just like Quantum TV, SS Sniper Wolf will not get banned from YouTube. They will not do anything that makes it seem like they are bending the knee to the mob. That's the only reason Quantum TV is kicking about, and it'll be the only reason she is not terminated for doxing Jax as well. Comment Etiquette says, My grandma got shot by an SS Sniper, so I never trusted this dumb broad. Amanda says, Actually insane. This is so beyond not okay. It's completely fucked. Zhang Yong says, Sociopathy, Sniper Wolf, Horrible Fortune. Chuck says, Sniper Wolf, let's talk like adults, Jack. Um, excuse me, what the actual fuck are you doing in my house? Plain Rock 124 tweets out a picture of his face and says, Come to my house, Sniper Wolf. You're invited. Brully says, SS Sniper Wolf channel manager waking up tomorrow seeing why she's trending. Cavos responds by saying, What a fucking psycho. Couldn't handle the criticism of her lazy reaction content and did this. Disgrace. Cavos then quote tweets Jack's films and says, Sniper Wolf just docks Jack films on her Instagram because he has been criticizing her lazy content. Team YouTube. Is this really the person you were choosing to promote? There has to be serious consequences for this invasion of privacy. Cavos continued tweeting about this when he said, This is her latest post after this was deleted. Absolutely no remorse. Fucking hell. Showing an Instagram story Sniper Wolf made of a guy looking at the bottom of his shoe and saying, Ew, I stepped in shit. And then the bottom of his shoe saying, People who talk shit in DMs then suddenly become the victim when I say something mean back. We get to see some more of Sniper Wolf's Instagram story responses when Nicholas DiOrio responds, to Cavos by saying, she confirms it, showing this Instagram story she made where she says, this creep has been harassing me for months, then plays victim saying I threatened him when I just wanted to talk to him. I have no ill intentions. It's so sad when people have to constantly create drama to pay their bills. Cavos responds, holy shit, what a nut job. Jack's films response to this by saying, I have no ill intentions. Sniper Wolf. 
you showed up to our home tonight and filmed it for your 5 plus million Instagram followers to see. That's called doxing. The harassing you claim I've been doing is documenting recent examples of you stealing creators content, stealing jokes, and failing to provide transformative commentary. Obviously it struck a nerve, but WOW! Doxing me was not on my bingo card. There is no reality where you were in the right here. Imagine defending doxing. Cringe. The act man responds by saying, there's no fucking way she gets away with this. Quinn says, on the bright side, Jack, you changed her for the better. This is probably the most effort she has put into her content in the last decade. Piper Brooks responds, I have no ill intentions. You sure about that? Bangerang says, Sniper Wolf hold herself accountable challenge, impossible. Shuonhead says, Casually showing the home of her biggest hater to 5 million simps who would gladly murder you to defend my lady's honor. It's a Gundam says, I'd be shocked if YouTube did anything to her. Iza says, She called you the creep after going to your house? <laughs> Laughing my ass off, okay. Palo says, pull out a boogie 2988. The critical drinker says, if this was literally any other content creator, they'd be demonetized and probably banned within a day. Jules responds to this by saying, gamers mark victim blaming on your bingo card. Your movie sucks response to this by saying, absolutely unacceptable behavior to intentionally dox people who criticize you to your millions of followers. This is undeniably against YouTube TOS. At Team YouTube, at YouTube creators, at YouTube. Hashtag demonetize sniper wolf. Hashtag ban. And Sniper Wolf. Everything out of context reacts to this by saying, Sniper Wolf proceeds to dox Jack's films. Hey, let's talk. I have no ill intentions. Bro, what? Elijah Smith responds by saying, I just want to talk to him. At his house? Jack's films then tweets out this meme of someone shooting a guy with Sniper Wolf being the shooter and doxing Jack's being the guy. And then Sniper Wolf saying, I have no ill intentions. Bangerang responds by saying, fix that for you, Jackie. Changing the last part of the meme to SS Sniper Wolf saying, who dox Jack. Rick responds by saying, she know the taste. Showing a video she made seven years ago titled, Hater tried to attack me in real life. Jack's Films then shows another response from SS Sniper Wolf and says, Delusional. Anyways, Team YouTube, you up? Got time to ban a literal stalker? The Instagram story from Sniper Wolf says, 400 videos online shitting on someone but wanting to talk IRL goes too far. Modern men are actually a joke. B YouTube responds by saying, Sniper Wolf makes Quobo Cop look good. And if you want to know why Quobo Cop looks bad, I have a video talking about the controversy involving him that you can check out after watching this one. But moving on, Jax Films responds to another Instagram story from Sniper Wolf. This time she says, Accusing me of doxing is defamation. I have no idea how to dox. He literally posted his address on Google and said I threatened him and doxed him. Jax responds by saying, You posted a video tonight of you outside our home for your 5 plus million followers to see while my wife and I were inside. I can't make it any simpler than that. If that's not doxing, why did you delete it? Boogie2988 tweets Jax Films and says, should be pretty fucking obvious, but do not come to a YouTuber's house and especially do not share their house and address to your 5 million Instagram followers. The Sapphire Scribe responds by saying, you invited Frank, to which Boogie responds, yeah, I told him to come here so I could kill him, which in retrospect is inviting him. Stupid choice on my part. Certainly not what Jack has done though, so stay on topic. And then we get even more info on how this interaction went down when Comment Cop tweeted out this video with the caption, SS Sniper Wolf docks Jack's films while he was live on stream. I take it too far all the time. If you know what I mean. Hold on, hold on, stop. Hold on. Don't look at the general. Oh, in shit. The yeah, yeah, hold on. Pause? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. yeah, yeah, pause. Yeah. This is like. Yeah, hold on. This is T. Is she like trying yeah, to dump you right now? I don't know, but that's that, really like, scary. Yeah, that's, that's not that's good. That's really sketchy. That's like that's extremely. That's so like, sketchy. Nah, fuck that. How would she know where you live, that? though? How the fuck does she know where we live? Leave me alone. Fuck. I'm sorry. She's. She's in the house right now, Jack. Shut up. She's literally outside your house. door. Like five minutes ago, posted. Wait, what? She's literally right outside your house. Oh my god! This is happening right fucking now. The fuck? Call the fucking police. Fucking sue her. Wait, what? Call like call the police. No, there's a video. She's outside your house right now. What the fuck? Holy shit! She literally posted a video on her story five minutes ago. I'm reporting. Oh my god! She is. She's outside our house. Fucking record this right now. She's fucking doxing you. Yeah, that's. Yeah, no, this is fuck. Fuck her. Oh my god, that's horrible. No, that that is huge vi no, violation it's not. of privacy and so oh much else. God. There's so much wrong with that. No, I'm not getting out, dude. Fuck that. No, no that. stay inside, call, absolutely. Call, call the cops and show them the Instagram yeah. story. 
Hold on. I'm yeah. going to go and outside. Aaron, no, no, don't. Aaron, no, Aaron, don't. Don't, 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 please don't. All right, hold on. Should we, I'm going to end this. Um, yeah. but yeah, yeah, yeah end the stream. Yeah. Sorry, gamers. Um, Thank you for coming out. That's a bit far. I truly think that this is psychopath behavior. Jax Films then shows another Instagram story and captions it by saying, She ends this with, Should I get a restraining order? Well, one of us showed up to the other's house tonight and it wasn't me. Hmm. This guy's entire channel is just me, me, me. Every single video for the past few months has been about me. And it's just like shitting on me. And then his streams. This dude is just like low key harassing me. Like, should I get a restraining order? Brandrisk responds by saying, Bro, what? Making videos criticizing someone's content is a bit different to showing up to their house and doxing them. Jack's Films responds, Just a bit. Jack Films' wife, Ernie, then makes a tweet where she says, Dear YouTube, YouTube creators, Team YouTube. I am not a creator, but my husband is. Tonight, Sniper Wolf came to my home, posted it on her Instagram for all to see, and tried to instigate a confrontation. I now have to worry about what she, as one of your favorite creators, or any of her many fans, may do to harm me or my family. I am a regular human that works a normal 8-5 to five corporate job that happened to fall in love with a YouTuber. She might claim that she's coming after a bully, but she's actually stalking and doxing normal people with no power. I am an example of this. I beg you, what can you do to help us? To keep us safe. Isa responds to her by saying, YouTube creators, if y'all don't denounce this, I swear to God. And while this was the response from 99.9% .9 of people, there were also a couple people on Twitter who were more critical of Jack in this situation. Like Vito Comedy who said, watching millionaires pretend to be scared because a lady took a picture of their house is genuinely annoying. I know nothing about this drama, but this dude is acting like a total cuck. One of the biggest examples of this is not Asuka who says, it's really ironic when you realize that this guy has been posting non-stop about Sniper Wolf for two straight months with no break. I am far from a Sniper Wolf fan, but this has made me lose a ton of respect for Jack's films. Actual weirdo behavior. I don't blame her, to be honest. Luckily, this tweet got a community note saying that while Jack's films has been highly critical of Sniper Wolf, what she is doing is illegal by California's penal code. And a bunch of normal people obviously responded to this tweet defending Jack's films, like Rayman, who says, you don't blame her for checks notes posting his house on her instagram story rayman also quote tweets them and says posting non-stop about sniper wolf that's the whole point oh my god the whole thing is to churn out lazy content to prove a point because that's all she does do you have the cerebrum of an inchworm smashbot responds by saying do you have the cerebrum of an inchworm goes insanely hard and i will be using it every chance i get kravat says exactly he was doing to her exactly what she was doing to others taking her videos and making lazy cheap quick content out of it. Except, you know, he credited her in every video still. Jax Films also makes a statement about this on his community tab, which Skylar tweets out and says, What's crazier? How SS Sniper Wolf literally docks Jax Films? Or how YouTube probably isn't gonna do anything about it? The post reads out, So, I just got doxxed by Sniper Wolf. Not a meme, not a joke. She posted videos on her Instagram story, now deleted, of her literally outside our home, with the captions, Should I go visit Jax Films? And, Let's talk talk like adults. I've screen recorded her videos in case I need them for legal action. It's time to get her demonetized or just straight up deplatformed. A creepy stalker who doxes her critics should not be allowed to monetize her content here. So we haven't really gotten an official response from YouTube on this, but Finmeister pulled a sneaky maneuver on Twitter by not asking Team YouTube directly about the situation, but asking them what their policy is on if a YouTuber doxes another YouTuber. To which Team YouTube responds, we do not allow harmful behaviors like threat and doxing. This resource has more info about our harassment and cyberbullying policy. Also, if your face slash personal info is shared, you can file a privacy complaint. Jax Films then responds to Team YouTube by saying, could you please take a look at this? Linking his tweet about Sniper Wolf. Asmongold tweets out about this when he says, SS Sniper Wolf situation is unacceptable. Anyone who uses their platform to dox and put a person's family in physical danger deserves to be deplatformed. This is an unironic line in the sand and one that should never be crossed. ASYC responds, can someone explain in Valorant terms? Asmongold responds, stream sniping and wall hacking at the same time. Shadow DN responds to Asmongold by saying, by no means 
once defending her actions, but Jax Films was borderline harassing her and singling her out when many people do the same thing. Seems more logical to go after non-transformative reaction content in general instead of a single person until they snap. Asmongold responds, If she thinks that she's being harassed, there are designated channels to go through to resolve that, whether it be through YouTube or the legal system or otherwise. The Actman tweets about this when he says, SS Sniper Wolf unironically started her own doxing adventures video series. Laughing my ass off, this can't be real, bruh! That's the worst idea you could have stolen from me! Showing the situation with Jax Films and an old joke tweet that he made where he says, I'm excited to announce a new series of videos I'll be making on YouTube called Doxing Adventures with Actman. In it, I'll be doxing and harassing the family members of YouTube employees and other content creators. It's sure to have lots of family fun. <laughs> Actman then follows up by saying, I don't condone doxing anyone. The tweet on the right was satire. If anyone from YouTube is reading this, please don't assassinate me again. Senior Stubby responds by saying, Damn, the person who steals so much shit from other people, she even stole an idea from the acting male himself. Actman responds, If I got demonetized for making the joke, what should happen to her for actually making the content? I wonder. And if you want to know more about that joke and Actman getting demonetized over it, I have a series of videos talking about it on my channel that you can check out after this one. But moving on, Night Tiger says, Sniper Wolf driving to Jax Film's house in the middle of the night and filming it for all her millions of followers to see where he lives while she makes herself out to be the victim in all of this was not on my 2023 bingo card. Ryan says, Sniper Wolf makes lazy reaction content, reaps the benefits off the backs of other people's work without permission or credit. Jax Films. That's not fair. I'm going to satirize the way you churn out lazy content, but credit the original creators until you do. SS Sniper Wolf. <laughs> Menialist tweets out, Jax Films, your video's kind of bad. SS Sniper Wolf. 308 Negra Arroyo Lane, Albuquerque, New Mexico, 87104. 22222 says, Jax Films, give credit to the creator. Sniper Wolf. Nicholas Diorio says, Jax Films. Hey, um, so I think you should consider crediting the people whose content you're ripping off, Sniper Wolf. I just want to talk to him. Wait, why do you have a shotgun? I just want to talk to him. Dad, this is ridiculous. I just want to talk to him. I just want to talk to him. I just want to talk to him. I just want to shoot him. I just want to talk to him. You can't shoot him. Wait, uh, what? What are you doing? We then get some interesting backstory about Sniper Wolf when Zach James tweets out, what Sniper Wolf did tonight was incredibly dangerous. Any content creator knows that a home is a place of safety and jeopardizing that safety is unforgivable. Jack's films can be a creative, entertaining troll. However, speaking from personal experience, he's a great friend to have, has basic human decency and will give you honest feedback. My nights with him shaped the early days of Yo Mama and myself. What he does is for entertainment with a sense of purpose. You can see that both from a first-hand experience and an outsider's perspective. She took it too far. YouTube. YouTube creators. YouTube has a strict policy on criminal behavior. She clearly has a history and shown a continuation of that behavior. YouTube needs to act fast. Otherwise, they are going to harm a talented creator as they continue to openly promote a person that harms people. Showing that SS Sniper Wolf got arrested in 2013 for armed robbery and arrested in 2016 for fighting some Someone. Old man responds by saying, well, if she wanted to talk, she could have not taken a picture of the house and just rang the doorbell. DJ Jordi Ann says, her being charged for robbery makes a lot of sense when you think about how often she steals content. I'm Spartacus tweets out, my statement on the Jax Films versus SS Sniper Wolf situation. Regardless of what liberals tell you, SS Sniper Wolf is in direct violation of California Penal Code section 653.2. Jack is well within his right to press charges. Leah is a criminal. Optimus also tweets out the documentation of her arrests and captions it by saying, SS Sniper Wolf really trying to paint herself as the victim when she docks Jack's films and went to his house to talk because he's been critical of her for her constant copyright infringement, laughing my ass off. This is the same chick who has been previously arrested for armed robbery, by the way. If you really went to his house to discuss things and act like a civilized adult, you wouldn't have published
publicize the front of his fucking house to millions of people and intentionally dox the dude because he hurt your feelings laughing my ass off. This bitch is actually mental for this. If YouTube actually does nothing in regards to this, they are literally opening up the president for people to harass creators IRL at their homes and nothing can be done about it. You can't have someone like this act this way and get away with it. Rare case where I call YouTube for action. I'm just going to say it too, bruh. Most people defending her are only doing it because they think she's hot. They would not be defending no man with previous armed robbery charges and assault charges showing up at a YouTuber's house. Absolutely pathetic. Grow some fucking nuts, guys. If she was a dude, she would be considered a violent threat by a wide majority of people. But because she's a female content creator, they want to fuck. She didn't dox or harass anyone. And why be afraid of Sniper Wolf laughing my ass off? Cavo says, Sniper Wolf has been charged for armed robbery and expects Jax Films to welcome her into his house? Psycho. Rusty Cage says, I've been creeping outside of Jax Films house for like three months now and not a single complaint. Do better, Sniper Wolf. Mudahar tweets out wall, showing that Sniper Wolf uploaded videos six years ago titled, Someone stalked me and a fan followed me home. He then follows up his tweet by saying, Yeah, she stalked a fellow creator who criticized her, showed up to his house, and posted the home to 5 million followers. I should have attached that context. My bad. I then respond to Mudahar by saying, She got the idea to visit Jack's films from her fans, showing the video a fan followed me home next to a tweet YouTube creators made. Where does Sniper Wolf get video ideas? from fans. Tom the TV tweets out, Jax Films lawyers are gonna have a field day in court thanks to these responses from Sniper Wolf and her sister, showing that on Sniper Wolf's Instagram, she posted a picture of herself and said, we show up to your house, what do you do? Making light of her going to Jax Films house to post it on Instagram. And then they show a picture of Sniper Wolf's sister responding to a critic on Twitter by saying, suck my nuts. Zach James responds to this by saying, the only reason Sniper Wolf is responding via Instagram story is to avoid her fans publicly turning on her via Twitter and seeing the full context. She's trying so hard to pull a PR move that's clearly backfiring. Sniper Wolf's sister also reacted to Jack's films himself by saying, Damn, does he not know how to fight or something? Star ratios her by saying, Not you defending doxing, that's just sad. The sister responds, She didn't dox anyone, dumbass. Google Jack's film's address, lol, anyone can see it. Dankus Donger's response to her by saying, Nah, for real, I would have shot her. The sister responds, bro said he would shoot a 5'4", 100 pound girl, laughing my ass off, you're tough as fuck, huh? Vloneri responds, yeah dude, don't trespass. The sister replies, didn't know driving by a person's house is trespassing. Mandy responds by saying, so it's okay if you or her locations get doxxed then? The sister responds, someone literally doxxed me and texted me from multiple different numbers for weeks telling me to kill myself multiple times a day. LOL! We both have been doxxed, but nobody is crying. X responds by saying, the classic, they were telling me to kill myself for weeks, but didn't manage to screenshot or post anything about it at at the time. The sister responds, because I'm not a crybaby cunt that screenshots every interaction with any human ever. Vendi Mortis responds, well, you're definitely one of those two things. Zero Katamata responds, what the heck is going on? To which Sniper Wolf's sister responds, 38 year old man huffing and puffing on some copium because his prolonged shit talking finally caught up to him. Riley tweets at Sniper Wolf's sister and says, you and your sister are cowards. She responds, how am I the coward when Jack is afraid of a 110 pound girl? Riley responds, you deleted your reply to Sully calling you out. As you would say, suck my nuts. She responds, maybe I would if you could draw better. Sniper Wolf's sister then tweets out, damn, whatever happened to just driving by someone's house? And then this tweet got community noted with the community note saying, it wasn't just driving by someone's house. It was posting a video of their home to millions of Sniper Wolf's followers in clear anger over Jack's film's criticism of her content. It is still doxing, which is against YouTube and Instagram TOS. Now Sniper Wolf's sister is encouraging fans to look up Jack Film's address, in addition to confirming they were 100% there to harm him. At YouTube, at Team YouTube, at YouTube Creators, you are cultivating a platform of hate, harassment, and violence every second you don't take action. He then shows two screenshots of Sniper Wolf's sister commenting on the situation. Sully then continues his thread by saying, in addition to reaching out to YouTube, be sure to report Woofy for this behavior. Based on her actions, it is clear she is headed down a dangerous path and will no doubt cause serious issues going forward. Brando VA responds to Sully by saying, damn, they are a literal crime family at this point. Scully Dully responds, oh, so she confirmed that her sister didn't just go to the house to talk with him? She literally wanted to fight? 
Sniper Wolf Sister then quote tweets Sully and says, suck my nuts, and then deleted it five minutes later, but Sully got a screenshot and responded to it on his Twitter by saying, very cool, quickly deleted response from Sniper Wolf Sister to me, calling out her encouraging people to look up Jack's identifying information. Real mature. She then responds, can you at me? I need followers. Sully responds, since you and your sister are keen on talking things out like adults, would you mind jumping on a Discord call so we could talk about the situation? She then responds, I'm streaming soon so we can get your input then. Not Quesadilla responds by saying, you and your sister gonna dox him next? She responds, I'm so dangerous. Meow, 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 meow. Jake Lucky reported the Sniper Wolf story on his Twitter, but said that the doxing was alleged, which caused a couple people to clown on him, like the Quinny who says, bro saying allegedly as if there wasn't any proof. Rara says, nothing alleged about it. She did it, officer. Dexdero did something similar, when in their report of the situation, they said Sniper Wolf was accused of doxing, which caused people like Nicholas Diorio, for example, to respond, accused? Aidan says, accused? The picture was deadass just a picture of his house laughing my ass off. Dystanak says, accused? You can literally see the Instagram story of her posting a picture of his house. Asuna responds, accused. What do you mean accused? You have a screenshot of her doing it! Stabath says, So you were telling me there's a chance her content will finally disappear and stop melting my six-year-old niece's brain? Rick responds to Dextero by saying, Are we surprised? Showing a screenshot of a video Sniper Wolf made eight years ago titled, I'm a stalker. Opera GX then parodies the situation when they say, SS Sniper Wolf inspired my latest story, showing a picture of their Instagram story that has a poll with the question, Should I go visit Edge offices? They are five minutes away from my shoot. Yes or no? Hashtag docs. Rico responds by saying, Bro asks her out. You guys can create a new YouTube channel where you play games. And she will react. It will grow ASAP. Opera GX responds, I think inventing a new type of nuke would be more beneficial to humanity than another reaction channel. Sniper Wolf continues talking about the situation on her Instagram story when she says, Accusing me of doxing is defamation. I have no idea how to dox. He literally posted his address on Google and said I threatened and doxed him. Jax Filmson screenshots this to post on his Twitter and respond by saying, You posted a video tonight of you outside our home for your 5 million plus followers to see while my wife and I were inside. I can't make it any simpler than that. If that's not doxing, why did you delete it? Isa responds to Jack by saying, Since when did you post your address? Shannon3095 responds, I think in her head, if you Google someone's name and find their address, that means they must have posted it to Google. Chris or Key responds to Jack by saying, Casually admitting she she googled your address and then drove to it. Ishu says, can't wait till she figures out that you can't actually post anything on Google and that it's a search engine, not a bulletin board. Sakib responds by saying, I have no idea how to dox. Ma'am, you are a natural talent. The leaker bot responds, Sniper Wolf downfall? I used to pray for times like these. Digital Next says, The doxing was fucking stupid. I even called her and told her that. I'm not defending the doxing, but you claiming you making videos on her for months is documenting? I'm calling bullshit. You watch her videos play bingo, guessing what's going to happen next, and having a soundboard with her voice on it. I mean, after a certain point, like, we fucking get it. You can critique someone in a video, but months of constant video about her, like, obviously the person isn't going to enjoy that. If you really want to change, talk to her. I'll call her right now and schedule a meeting for you to talk it out and hash out all the beef. We'll make sure everyone feels comfortable and a safe space. Sniper Wolf's sister responds to him by saying, you should see the Twitch VODs. Dasa tweets out this clip from Ace Attorney and says, Jax Films, you should credit people in your videos. SS Sniper Wolf. <laughs> Yak says, Jax Films, give the credit to the creators, Sniper Wolf. You said how I got your address? Don't even worry about that, bro. Just Vic says, Jax Films, maybe you should SS Sniper Wolf. Boards of Cinema says, 
The Snark Tank is an amazing podcast, and in the wake of these SS Sniper Wolf incidents, I immediately thought of the segment from their Jack's Films guest episode. Here is that clip. Idiot, idiot Snail mm. wrote in. Okay. He says, has Snipey sent any response to you? <laughs> also, hello, Jack. I love you. And you too, Snark Boys. Snipey. So he's obviously talking. Uh, Snipey. I don't like that nickname for Sniper Wolf. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. That's not Snipey. a fun one. But. I'm really. I saw that she only. I, I so I didn't follow all of it because I kind of wanted to keep it because I knew we were gonna have you on and I kind of wanted to like have you kind of regale in sure, some way. Sure. But like I don't know. Like I know she addressed you sort of. I so, think right. Yeah. Has she has she directly like mentioned so what's she, happening? <laughs> she's only like peripherally mentioned it. Like she hasn't. So she hasn't like talked to me about it or threatened me or anything yet. Um, she's just made like a couple of jabs, light jabs in her, in her videos recently. Right. Like she'll, you know, show like a picture of a cockroach or something. And she's like, oh, it's like that guy who's stealing all my stuff. And it's like, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> like, <laughs> all you, like, uh, all you do. I, 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 I've, I've said it a yeah, million yeah, times, of course, but yeah. I, the, the irony is not lost on me. I'll say mm-hmm. that. Right. Um, but, um, that's really it. Um, man, you know, that's so crazy. Would you, you box her? her? Yeah, Wait, go ahead. good, good. No, 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 would no, I go box ahead, her? <laughs> <laughs> would you box Sniper Wolf? Oh my fuck! Oh God. wow, no, no, because I'm a, I'm a lover, not a fighter. I'm a. I feel like you can punch. What a boring too, answer, fair. right? I thought she's a puncher, dude. <laughs> I feel like she'll throw a haymaker, and you'll be like, "Whoa!" If that would have hit me, I would have been gone. I would have faded to black. She's just like yeah. a puncher, dude. <laughs> Yeah, she's actually like she's actually eight feet tall, four hundred pounds of pure muscle. We, and it's, you know, it's there's just no way to her know. face. Yeah, there's just yeah, her face yeah. in, the, in those reaction videos. Just- One of the hosts of Snark Tank, who was in the upper right hand corner during that clip, quote tweets that clip and says, "We just had Jack's films on the podcast, and we barely mentioned Sniper Wolf since it seemed like the beef died down, only for it to reach psychotic levels. YouTube definitely gotta do something about her insane behavior. Todney says, Reminder, Essa Sniper Wolf ghosted a child cancer patient who was a fan of her and decided to go to a restaurant on the day she was supposed to meet the kid. She's just an awful person on top of making awful content. Moth responds, She's also transphobic and has a history of putting down women for certain things, then do said things. This woman, I swear to God. Rue says, I don't even think she was supposed to meet the kid. She was literally just supposed to video call, and she couldn't even do that. Number one VV Stan says, and then had the nerve to get mad at the child's mom when she kept canceling on the kid. Jet Neptune says, y'all are pussy. Sniper Wolf is just a hood bitch, talk shit, and get slid on. <laughs> Come outside, Jack's films, fucking idiot. Nicholas Diorio says, YouTube has created a problem where an arbitrary number of videos are allowed to be made before it's deemed harassment. This selectively enforced policy has led many to believe the misconception that making too many videos is an actual legit form of harassment. The most egregious example of this policy being shamely enforced was when Tipster had a video removed where he consoled a lawyer regarding Susie Lou's content theft. He was told that the magic number was about three during undisclosed amount of time even though the video was tame. This misconception has been used as justification by too many people for Sniper Wolf to dox Jack's films and it's 100% YouTube's fault. Making too many videos is not stalking. It is not harassment. It is not justification for doxing someone's home and endangering their family. There is no reason why Jack watching Sniper Wolf freeboot other people's work and credit as many uncredited creators as he can should be deemed harassment. He's not lying about the nature of her content for views, or smearing her in any way. There is nothing underhanded about his content. Marvelous then responds to the tweet without reading it and says, Sniper absolutely sucks, and what she did was messed up, but this dude made 60 plus videos on her within a year. Nicholas Diorio responds, I don't know why I bother typing anything when people can't read. Lems responds by saying, Plus, wasn't there a T-channel that made over 130 videos on Gabby Hanna within the span of a year? I would think that would count as harassment. Then Jack reacting slash crediting content that Sniper will fail to do. Nick responds, Yeah, the policy is super selectively enforced. I think the nature of the content itself should be weighed significantly higher when dealing with what constitutes harassment. It shouldn't 
shouldn't be an arbitrary X video in Y days gets taken down. Let's look at the nature of Leafy's 12 videos on Pokimane. Whatever you think of those people aside, Jack grading reaction content and giving credit to uncredited creators is far tamer than anything either of those other creators did. However, if a content creator was smearing, making serious uncredible allegations, doxing, threatening, or unjustly defaming another person, and they made 130 piece of content about them this year, maybe start looking to demonetize slash take down their content. TLDR, context needs to matter. And speaking of context, Twitter decided to add what they thought was important context to a tweet YouTube made last June where they said, Sniper Wolf is the creator of our dreams, but due to recent events, of course community notes, decided to add a little clarification under that tweet where it says, SS Sniper Wolf recently doxed Jack Douglas, which is in clear violation of YouTube's community guidelines. People then start reacting to the community notes, like Saber Spark who quote tweets this and says, might just be the most brutal community note ever posted laughing my ass off. It's a Gundam responds with this image of a syndical squinting at the community notes. Ricky Berwick says, community notes never disappoint laughing my ass off. Good night fam. Dark Viper AU says, it is crazy that YouTube managed to take the least flattering picture of SS Sniper Wolf of all time. On some level, I want to think the dude running this account was ordered to write this idiocy and in rebellion picked the worst photo. Brody Fox says, gotta love community notes. Your movie sucks clips tweets out this clip from your movie sucks Twitch account and says, your movie sucks predicts SS Sniper Wolf doxing one month before. You're totally fine. I saw a TikTok video about you and I- <laughs> I, I spend all my days watching TikTok. And I, when I see someone having a bad day, I get my audience to dox them and figure out where they live and uh, contact their parents. But not everybody was critical of SS Sniper Wolf. Now, a lot of people think SS Sniper Wolf is a lost cause, but Internet Anarchist here says that he can fix her, to which Turkey Tom responds, you got this wrangle and dangle. Wavy Websurf says, SS Sniper Wolf shit is so funny to me. Like she went to Jack's house herself. She is a multi-millionaire moving like the ops. Oompaville says, smoke in that SS Sniper Wolf pack. This legit might be the end for a beautiful reaction princess. SS Sniper Wolf, lol. This is really bad. I'm Alex and tweets out a nine year old video calling out Sniper Wolf that he made and captions it by saying, Dear Team YouTube, you must step in and remove Sniper Wolf from YouTube for this video alone. In it, she encourages children to twerk in exchange for pictures and then laughs about it after she gets what she asked for. It's horrific and completely unacceptable. Please act fast. When asked about the policy surrounding what Sniper Wolf did to Jack's films, Team YouTube responds by saying, we don't allow harmful behaviors like threat and doxing. This resource has more info about our harassment and cyberbullying policy. If your face slash personal info is shared, you can file a privacy complaint. This then got a community note attached to it that says, YouTube has still not taken action against SS Sniper Wolf who docks Jack's Films house on an Instagram story that she later deleted. Jack's Films then continues to put the pressure on YouTube when he quote tweets this and says, the best time to remove Sniper Wolf from your platform was Friday night, when she showed up to our home, filmed and posted a live video of our house to her 5 million plus Instagram followers while my wife and I were inside, and dared me to come out. The second best time is now. I've sent video evidence to the appropriate channels, and I'm happy to share directly with you. This is a clear example of doxing and a clear violation of your policy stated here. I'm aware you were looking into the situation, but this is a black and white case that holds dangerous implications if it goes unchecked. Please act now and remove this channel from your platform. SaberSpark responds by saying, to no one's surprise, you are allowed to break rules on YouTube as long as you make them enough money. What a fucking joke of a TOS, YouTube. Admit your nepotism or actually grow a backbone. N says, crazy that if the rules were reversed, they'd take action a lot faster. Zuwu responds, just change your name to Jess Films for a day or two. SimpTeam6 at YouTube will reply in a heartbeat. The Grok says, If it was Jax who docked Sniper, he would be banned within the hour. Zach James says, To everyone saying, But it was off-platform. YouTube has an off-platform policy for creators, and have enforced this in the past due to doxing. He then shares a screenshot from YouTube responding to Actman saying, As discussed, your YouTube partnership program suspension followed your now deleted tweet threatening to dox the families of YouTube employees and creators. We don't take these decisions lightly and want you to know we are taking your concerns just as seriously. 
We'll keep working with you directly on this. They then cite the part of their YouTube TOS where they explain that they might take action to protect the community for creators engaging in harmful off-platform behavior. Deaf Noodle's response to Jack by saying, I would pursue legal action instead of constantly petitioning YouTube to be judge, jury, and executioner. It seems like you might have a case for criminal charges, which would be more effective and appropriate punishment than focusing on removing a channel from YouTube. He then cites KESQ.com, who say, In California, cyber harassment including doxing with the intent to put others and their immediate family in danger can put violators in county jail for up to one year or impose a fine of up to $1,000 or both. Chess responds by saying, Deplatforming costs her millions. Hit her where it will really hurt. BRG Pod responds to Jack by saying, In fairness, the second best time was Saturday, the third best time was Sunday, and so on and so forth, but it's still the best time now. Brando VA responds to Jack by saying, Leah, Sniper Wolf, is a convicted felon who's committed armed robbery. The fact that she and her sister were egging Jack into a fight while doxing him is absolutely abhorrent and inexcusable, and they are still taunting him and mocking the situation online. If this was the other way around, Jack would be terminated within the hour for doing something as egregious as doxing. Per YouTube's TOS, she should be banned off the site, plus Insta. Meme Bastard responds with this image of YouTube looking at demonetizing and terminating Sniper Wolf's channel, and then saying, I'll ignore that. The Real Sully G tweets out, Good morning, what a beautiful day for Team YouTube to hold Sniper Wolf accountable. YouTube no comment after two days is unacceptable, do better. Daniel responds by saying, Did you and Wolfie ever hash things out on stream? Referring to this tweet that I read in part two of the series, where Sniper Wolf's sister Wolfie saying that they will talk to Sully on stream. Sully responds to Daniel by saying, I knew it was never a real offer on her end. She has now gone radio silent and started deleting tweets. So there is 100% a PR person telling her to stay quiet on the situation. So during this push from Twitter for YouTube to address this situation, they decided instead to tweet out, would it be too meta to do a reaction video to a reaction video? Which then gets a community note added to it that says, For additional context, it needs to be known that this tweet was written in the wake of a controversy regarding a reaction YouTuber Sniper Wolf, who recently leaked the personal information of a fellow creator on the platform Jax Films. Philip DeFranco quote tweets this and says, Just a silly silly fun goof. Y'all should react to this video, showing the video Jax Films uploaded, talking about the doxing situation. Brody Fox quote tweets YouTube and says, Everyone, you need to enforce your TOS. YouTube, let's make a cutesy joke, tee hee Zach James says, YouTube has clearly lost their minds when it comes to Sniper Wolf doxing Jack's films and not enforcing their off-platform creator responsibility policy. So let's make this a bigger news story for them. Below are a list of media outlets, their news tip emails slash phone numbers and reporters you need to reach out to. And then he lists a bunch of contact information for these outlets. The Real Sully G quote tweets YouTube and says, YouTube is being pressured to remove a free booting reactor from the platform after she doxed another creator, also YouTube. The real Sully G continues tweeting about the situation when he says, It's been three days since Sniper Wolf went to the home of another YouTube creator and doxed his address for her millions of followers. YouTube is hoping this will all blow over so they'll never have to address it. Don't let them ignore this. Make your voices heard. Showing that Insider made an article about this, Sully continues his Twitter thread by saying, YouTube's inaction on such a blatant violation of their own TOS makes one thing clear. YouTube is no longer a safe platform for creators. YouTube will happily turn a blind eye for doxing, harassment, and inciting violence if it means making a few dollars. Shame on you, YouTube. At Team YouTube, hi. I have a quick user guidelines question. Someone on YouTube has been making jokes about me. Am I allowed to drive to their house, post their address to my Instagram, and incite my followers to do the same? Asking for a friend. Sully also asks this directly to YouTube with their creator support function in the YouTube studio and shares their response on his Twitter with the caption, just talk to YouTube support and wow, they have changed their approach. They are actively changing the rules to protect SS Sniper Wolf. YouTube no longer cares about its creators. This is unacceptable. He then shares the messages between him and the YouTube employee. It starts out with him describing the situation, and then the YouTube employee Marcus responds by saying, Regarding the things that you will do outside YouTube platforms, I apologize as I cannot provide any details since YouTube is not allowed to meddle if it is outside our scope. It will be up to your own discretion on what you will do to them 
outside YouTube platform. Sully responds, so it wouldn't necessarily be against TOS to do so? Marcus responds, yes, since it will be outside YouTube's scope. Chappie responds by saying, it's funny, because YouTube says they can't terminate channels for outside matter. Yet there's a Wikipedia article that shows known YouTube suspensions for some that happened outside of their platform, lol. Taylor from PS responds by saying, Literally last month, the guy in charge of YouTube policies said they could ban accounts for off-platform actions. This is such a double standard, and I hope Jack ends up taking both Sniper Wolf and YouTube to court if YouTube doesn't do anything. Brink of Sanity Show says, How quickly do you think I'd get my YouTube account shut down if I docked Sniper Wolf on Instagram? Mango says, YK what? Maybe some of the people she stole content for should just start DMCAing anything she took that's not fair use. ATP and see what happens. That genuinely might be the only way to get her off YouTube. FGI Majora responds to Sully by saying, So let me get this straight. The Actman makes a joke about doxing outside of their platform, and YouTube takes action. Sniper Wolf actually doxes someone, and now it's, well, we can't do anything about it laughing my ass off. YouTube is just as bad as Twitch with this favoritism shit. Quentin Reviews quote tweet Sully and says, YouTube is actively encouraging stalkers to go to the homes of YouTubers as long as it isn't posted on YouTube. They are now borderline instructing how to get away with such an action, and all to protect one large creator. Dubus Goobus quote tweet Sully and says, Well, at this point, I think Jack should just sue her. YouTube won't do shit, but the law sure as hell would. Brody Fox responds to Sully by saying, Sniper Wolf after not facing any consequences. <laughs> Locke is live says, Bro went into hiding from S's Sniper Wolf before making this video, showing that when Penguin Zero made his video on the Sniper Wolf situation, he was in a hotel room instead of his own home. Scarlet's Gaze responds by saying, Next video we see Critical in a bunker 65 feet underground. Steven says, How everybody's celebrating S's Sniper Wolf's downfall, me included. Jasper says, Sniper Wolf's like to dislike ratio on her newest video, showing that she has 22k likes and 77k dislikes. Eric says, Even Watch Mojo is on the Sniper Wolf downfall hype train, showing a video that Watch Mojo just uploaded titled, Who is Sniper Wolf? And why did she dox Jack's films? Camilla tweets out this image of a video Sniper Wolf uploaded reacting to creative TikToks and captions it by saying, not Sniper Wolf using my painting for clickbait. That's my job. Jake responds, did she ask for permission? Camilla responds, obviously not, lol. Brando VA responds, I'd file a copyright claim slash strike, honestly. She steals and never credits people, and it's long overdue. Howard the Duck responds, Sniper Wolf about to give you a visit now. Psykick says, I think Sniper Wolf was cast in the wrong role for this video. It feels like she has much more experience doing the cyberbullying. Showing a screenshot of a video from Darman, where he talks to Sniper Wolf about her getting cyberbullied at her school for being a gamer. Valor says, Jax Films, you shouldn't steal from create Sniper Wolf. Spooky Buy Tape says, No, S is Sniper Wolf. 127.543.5.432 is not an acceptable answer to. Can you please credit the people you watch in your videos? Home Invasion isn't an answer either. Cavos tweets out, So Team YouTube age restricted my latest Sniper Wolf video, and they rejected my appeal in seconds. In what world? They can age restrict content criticizing her, but can't do anything about Sniper Wolf herself? The appeal wasn't even checked was just straight away rejected. Pimpmaster Broder responds by saying, People about to get another rehash of the golden rule. If you were in YouTube's top 5% of revenue makers, you can get away with anything. Logan Paul got a slap on the wrist for the Forest video, and James Charles had nothing happen to them. Duba responds by saying, Silent on SS Sniper Wolf, but loud on everyone else. Lindsay Ray responds by saying, Imagine ignoring the problem of punishing the ones who call out the problem. What is Team YouTube doing? Permaband quote tweets Kavos and says, So YouTube is running defense for Sniper Wolf, huh? Even after she blatantly breaked its rules? Nobody Gamer tweets out, Amidst the Sniper Wolf stuff, this Cory X Kenshin video is aging like a fine wine, showing a video from him titled, YouTube, Racism and Favoritism. Nobody follows up by saying, By the way, I'm pointing out the favoritism aspect, not the racism aspect, as that is the most important part. 
Malficient Brain Rot responds by saying, It's even worse, because that video got immediately flagged due to ad suitability, or whatever. The fact that they immediately took action on him but not QTV or Sniperwolf says a lot. The Actman says, S a Sniperwolf situation in a nutshell. YouTube when someone jokes about doxing, showing Patrick using a microscope, YouTube when a YouTuber literally doxes another YouTuber, Patrick with a plank nail to his head. SEI says, Jax Films, put some credit for the creator, as a sniper wolf. Camera recording. Hello. Hello. Let your boom and make it boom. Let your boom and make it boom. Ronaldo is the goat shows this clip from XQC stream and says XQC proves S a sniper wolf wrong. Sniper wolf says, "Wow, I can't stand that a female YouTuber is getting more views than me, even though I don't make this. Uh, uh, even though I make the same content, life is hard." And then doubles down and says, "Also, I hate bringing gender into this, but no one ever attacks the male react channels." And I have to say, I think this is what led us. Yo, hello? Is she guys are you fucking me? Brody Fox says classic SS Sniper Wolf moment. Why is he looking? Who is he? I don't know. Why is he? No, just look at him. Oh, look, he's like classic. Oh, what? Why does it actually make up? Brody Fox also tweets out, SS Sniper Wolf sister, how dare you steal OnlyFans content? Also her. I'll dox and fight you for saying my sister steals content. Showing a tweet from Sniperwolf's sister where she says, To be honest, if you leak OnlyFans content, you were the lowest scummiest scum of all shit and deserve to be taxidermied alive. And then showing her response to Jack's films where she says, Damn, does he not know how to fight or something? Brody continues by saying, How is this both real and such a joke at the same time? Oh, because YouTube still hasn't done the right thing. Brody also tweets out, that Sniper Wolf got dropped by G Fuel and says, How did an energy drink act faster than YouTube? Fall Xander responds by saying, Because they had the energy to do it. Bangerang says, YouTube doesn't have integrity, that's why. They can't let their golden girl favorite streamer face consequences. So in the last video, I read a tweet from Tondi's tweets that reminded everyone that Sniper Wolf ghosted a cancer patient who was a fan of her and wanted to meet her before she died. And Fatality responds, to that tweet with another controversial sniper wolf clip this time with the allegation that she's being transphobic it is ma'am okay sorry sir ma'am ma'am i'm so sorry how dare i not ask you what you identify as assume my gender how dare you do you see my pink purse my pink purse is my gender you see my pink shirt you see this mascara are you gonna call me a sir i'll show you a sir Wait. but that tweet calling out ss sniper wolf's transphobia is nothing in comparison to what barone tweeted he says SS Sniper Wolf is being accused of commercial sexualization of minors after a video she posted back in 2014 has resurfaced where she asks young looking individuals, allegedly minors, to twerk in exchange for favors, showing her breasts. At around 12.30 EST, she privated it. I'll type it. Come on. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go. Come on. No, come on. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Yeah. Let's get the little guy, too. I want him to see the little guy. Come on, both of you, just twerk together. Oh, I can't see. Move the camera, just a little bit. I couldn't see. Oh yeah, yeah, you're really good at it. <laughs> yeah, let me see the other guy do it. Yeah, see the little guy. Oh, someone came in. Is that your mom? 
<laughs> Come on, let's go. Let's go. Get your mom in here. Let her talk to you. Yeah, yeah, your son's doing all this for tits. <laughs> and after this was posted, Barone actually got suspended. Drum Alert tweeted this out and said, After exposing SS Sniper Wolf for alleged commercial sexualization of minors, YouTuber Barone was suspended from Twitter. Do you think she played a role in his suspension? Update. Barone account will remain suspended. Additionally, it appears that his new account has been shadow banned, as his name does not show up when searching for him all the time. How come everyone who talks about Sniper Wolf faces repercussions? They then show a tweet from Barone where he says, Hey guys, thank you so much for supporting me and posting about my account suspension, but it looks like I will not be getting the other account back after I've appealed now TWICE! Other people posted the same video, unblurred showing the children's faces, but they weren't banned. Mudhar got a chance to quote tweet him and say, Jesus Christ, this is really fucking weird. I'm never a fan of deplatforming out of the blue. This behavior would have gotten me or any other creator I know shut down. I'd just like to see some fairness across the board. Bastard Beast responds by saying, Twitter archaeology. You used to be against this when it happened to people you like, hypocrite. You've all become no better than screeching blue hairs raging about Trump. Mudahar responds by saying, You know, it's funny. Even if this clip is old, the actual action in it is still reprehensible. You can dig up a lot of old stuff on me that probably hasn't aged well. Telling a minor to twerk doesn't exist, and it shouldn't for most people on the internet. Try using nuance. Cam Nuggets responds to Mudahar by saying, When's her ukulele apology video coming? Well, it might actually be coming a lot sooner than you think, Cam Nuggets, as Sniper Wolf, after a week, has finally responded to this on her Twitter, at the same time that YouTube responded in the replies to Jack's films, where they say, Confirming as a Sniper Wolf has received temporary monetization suspension per creator responsibility policies, off-platform actions that put others' personal safety at risk, harm our community, and the behavior on both sides isn't what we want on YouTube. Hoping everyone helps move this combo to a better place. This tweet then, of course, gets community noted, with the note saying, SS Sniper Wolf has also been called out for allegedly sexualizing minors, which YouTube didn't address and is against their own terms of service. If you want to learn more about that situation, I talked about it in the last video, part 3 of the series. But oddly enough, this community note actually got completely changed a couple hours later, and now it reads, SS Sniper Wolf violated YouTube harassment and cyberbullying policy by posting personal private information. Jax Films has not violated any policy set for creators. The ensuing outrage and attacks are a direct result of YouTube's inaction regarding a large creator. Beefy responds by saying, They had us in the first half, not gonna lie. Jacksepticeye says, Wait, both sides? Criticism and parody are not the same as doxing. Philip DeFranco responds, YouTube about to drop your home address for this critique, Jack. Dolan Dark says, behavior on both sides? I don't recall Jack showing up at Sniper Wolf's house and posting it online. Saberspark says, the punishment doesn't match the literal crime. Stop playing favorites and being deliberately cryptic. Also, behavior on both sides. What the fuck does that mean? Are you all actually condemning Jack even though he has been 100% forthcoming and operated within the rules with his content? Absolute bullshit. Zach James responds by saying, both sides, showing a firefighter putting out a fire with a smug guy outside saying, so sad to see this aggression on both sides of the conflict. Sam Procrastinate says, both sides? Both sides? What the fuck do you mean both sides? Get the fuck out! Chuck responds with a picture of a Dragon Ball Z character and the caption, both sides. The Saga responds by saying, both sides statement really goes to show YouTube mindset. One creator called out for stealing content and being above the rules when it comes to transformative and fair use. The other docks, threatened, and steals content, and in YouTube's eyes, it's the same. Pathetic. Oompaville responds by saying, criticism bad. Showing to people's house slightly worse. Nerd emoji. Ricky Berwick says, and I thought I was disabled. Do the best thing and remove her off your platform, Jesus Christ. Kavos responds by saying, everyone disliked that. Nerd City says, if YouTube employees actually watched YouTube, would that be too meta? Derelict Gollum says, So, you're victim blaming Jax Films for creating a parody of Sniper Wolf's freebooted content that actually credits the creator she steals from? Who's got victim blaming on their bingo card? Guyani says, <laughs> Good to know if I ever go on a fucking crime spree, at least YouTube will have my back. 
Benjamino responds, is that it? Yet you'll happily punish smaller creators for way less. What a joke. YouTube when a small creator accidentally says frick. You fucking donkey! Versus YouTube when Sniper Wolf endangers another creator. Oh dear, oh dear, gorgeous. Stone responds by saying, no way this is the response that y'all took a whole week to come up with. Omni responds by saying, if the penalty for a crime is a fine, then that law only exists for the lower class. Circle Tunes HD responds with this Twitter video. So, uh, Sniper Wolf just, uh, docks Jax films? Yeah, so what? Well, considering it's in our terms of service that she can't do that on or off the site, I figured we'd terminate her account. Okay, uh, how much money does she make us again? Oh, uh, millions of dollars. Ah, oh, that's right, I know what we should do. I Failed IRL says... Y'all took this long to do something, and still it's the bare minimum for stuff that's been brought to light. You have been awarded one yike from the National Committee of Yikes. Xavier responds by saying, Temporary? Nah, that needs to be permanent. Albert says, How long is it suspended for? I low-key want to stalk people and need to know how much money it'll cost me. Jonas says, Pathetic and disgusting. Stop playing favors and terminate her channel. We're talking about a literal criminal who would have been removed from the platform if it was anyone else. Jake Stevenson says, Hoping everyone moves this convo to a better place equals Stop bringing attention to our favoritism for YouTube revenue generating creators and complete disregard for other creators. Oompaville quote tweets YouTube and says, This is a bad sign guys lol. Joshua Davidson responds, How is it a bad sign exactly? Oompaville responds, Creators get strikes for visual anteing pedos, and Essa Sniper will films a guy's house who's raising her online and get her billion dollars taken away for a minute. Jack is criticizing someone who's never had to work an actual day in their life for stealing shit and putting in zero effort, but somehow both sides are bad. Philip DeFranco quote tweets YouTube and says, Both sides is wild. He then quote tweets it again and says, Y'all, the more I sit with this, the more it pisses me off. How the fuck are they both sides equating Sniper Wolf putting another creator's life in danger by showing up in the middle of the night and broadcasting the outside of their home to their millions of followers, with Jack posting a bunch of videos critiquing and parodying her? ArcadeGuy781 responds by saying, Oh Jack arrest Sniper Wolf! Cut the crap, YouTube. He critiqued her. Mudahar responds to Team YouTube by saying, Actually surprised they did something. I find the both sides argument falling flat here. One creator was posting sensitive details and freebooting, while the other was criticizing and providing actual sources for the freebooted content. Nicholas Diorio quote tweets YouTube and says, This is exactly what I was talking about the other day. An arbitrary number of videos is equivalent to filming someone's fucking house and threatening them. Context doesn't matter, and YouTube has different rules for the top creators. Nothing new here. Wavy Websurf quote tweets YouTube and says, Behavior on both sides? What exactly is the behavior that Jack is participating in that you don't want on YouTube? Cone of Arc responds by saying, This is like a school teacher scolding both the bully and the kid being bullied laughing my ass off. Optimus responds by saying, I didn't even fucking notice that laughing my ass off. YouTube has to be getting run by the Quobocop AI at this point. Willie Mac Show says, The end of the post is concerning, and reminds me of why I hate when YouTube is tagged in any situation involving drama. Nicholas Diorio responds by saying, I have never heard a faceless corporate entity sound so frustrated. Habibi responds to YouTube by showing this clip and saying, YouTube punishing Sniper Wolf. If you can't do the time, don't do the crime. Okay, time's up. Zach James responds to YouTube by saying, Turns out vidIQ has a plugin showing when videos are monetized or not. Using that plugin, it shows that only Sniper Wolf's most recent video has ads turned off whereas all of her other videos are still shown to be monetized. The real Sully G quote tweets him and says, Why am I not surprised? James responds to Team YouTube by showing this screenshot of a video made by Corey X Kenshin four months ago titled YouTube Racism and Favoritism and captions it by saying, Criticism slash parody and doxing are very different things. Jax Films did absolutely nothing wrong. No one is exempt of criticism. SS Sniper Wolf should be deplatformed, not just demonetized for a short period of time. YouTube continues to prove Corey X Kenshin right. Roby responds to Team YouTube by saying, You demonetized my entire channel for two months over a 7 second Gordon Ramsay clip I posted 8 years ago, but Sniper Wolf stealing content for 5 years gets her a slap on the wrist? Cupquake says, A slap on the hand for putting another creator's safety at risk. 
What Sniper Wolf did to Jack's films is unacceptable, and it's a very scary reality that we creators deal with. Apology or not, there should be more severe consequences for her actions, so this doesn't happen again. Sniper Wolf then finally responds to this controversy properly on her Twitter after YouTube said something when she tweets out, Let me start by saying I'm sorry for my recent actions. It is inexcusable. I'm sorry to Jack's film, YouTube, the entire creator community, and my incredible fans for not being a better example for appropriate conflict resolution. Jack's film, while we certainly don't see eye to eye and have our differences, I am sorry for reacting the way I did, when I should have taken the opportunity to show young creators how adults and professionals resolve conflict by communicating directly, respectfully, and privately, not for views or content, but a meaningful example of how conflict should be solved. I will reach out directly and hope we can find some time to connect and communicate, respectfully. I'd also like to thank YouTube for holding me accountable. I deserve it. Respect the decision, and appreciate the opportunity to learn and grow from a true lapse in judgment. Then she obviously gets community noted as per usual by now with this controversy, and it reads out, Context. Sniper Wolf posted a picture of Jack's film's home on her Instagram story consisting of 5.6 million followers. This is indeed doxing, and is illegal in the state where the two live. Jadia's response to Sniper Wolf by saying, Always here to support you, Leah. Hopefully this conflict can come to an end. And then she responds with a heart emoji. Daily Sid Official says, you were only apologizing because YouTube is stopping your monetization for a week. You don't care about anyone except yourself. Literally don't care. Solid JJ says, Very mature of you and clearly not part of whatever plea deal you had with YouTube that would allow you to walk away with a slap on the wrist. Tweeting this immediately after YouTube makes a comment too great. Very cool. Thank you. Nicholas Light TV says, You literally mocked it when it happened and gathered yourself after a few days of silence to come up with the perfect tweet. You are the definition of a Los Angeles influencer, and nothing you say is genuine. It's all for the money and clicks. ASST Sailor responds by saying, You are not sorry. Your initial response versus when you lose money, showing her original Instagram story response, where she posted a picture of her and her sister and said, We show up to your house, what do you do? Next to YouTube confirming that her channel is temporarily demonetized. Naftan Boy responds to Sniper Wolf by saying, I love how you apologize AFTER you got demonetized from YouTube. Saberspark says, Looks like your PR manager just secured their Christmas bonus. Surreal says, Jarvis, write me a corporate apology letter. Old Man Gibdu says, So, ChatGPT is sorry. What about you, Leah? Jam responds with this image and the caption, NO SHOT LOL, showing that they did some sort of AI scan on the apology that determined that this text is most likely to be written by an AI with a 100% probability. Ricky Berwick does something similar when he responds to Sniper Wolf by saying, pretty accurate, showing a prompt that he put into chat GPT where he says, write me a short apology tweet. And then the AI starts writing out a tweet that says, I want to sincerely apologize for any misunderstandings or hurt feelings caused by my previous tweets. I appreciate your understanding and committed to doing better in the future. Thank you for your support. Hashtag apology. Hashtag learning and growing. Opera GX responds to Sniper Wolf by saying, Too late. Six days too late. Derelic Golem says, Your sincerity is off the charts. Showing that the bullshit detector is at the maximum input frequency for detecting bullshit. Typo responds by saying, You forgot this showing a ukulele, which is obviously a reference to the ukulele apology that Colleen Ballinger did. If you want to learn more about that, I have a video about it up on my channel. But anyways, Galaxy responds to Sniper Wolf by saying, Anything else? Showing a microphone up to a trash can. Def Noodle shows this picture of a bus crossing in front of a train, with the bus being Sniper Wolf's apology, and the train being the replies just ramming right through it. Dystanek responds by saying, Getting ratioed by your replies is crazy showing that within an hour, the replies have almost doubled the like count. Speaking of those replies, Jay Aubrey quote tweets her and says, She found his entire home address, but somehow couldn't get his channel name right, laughing my fucking ass off. Jules says, Need y'all to know I'm still giggling at Jack's film. Like, did no one proofread this? Platinum Yoshi says, Yeah, fuck you, Sniper Wolf. I've made a severe and continuous 
lapse in my judgment. <laughs> Turkey Tom quote tweets Sniper Wolf and says, YouTube made her apologize. <laughs> Windigoon says, lol, YouTube made her go right. I won't be mean to my classmates on the chalkboard. The real Sully G says, I'd like to thank YouTube for holding me accountable. Girl, they didn't do shit! Temporary monetization pause isn't a punishment. It's just the price of doing business and accomplishing her goal, which she did. Notice this pre-written apology dropped at the same time YouTube made their announcement, proving that YouTube was once again working with SS Sniper Wolf behind the scenes to find a way out of this. Also, since we're already reading some of the real Sully G tweets, who has been tweeting a lot about the Sniper Wolf situation to the point of getting in an altercation with her sister, which we covered in part two, the talk surrounding that altercation continued when he tweeted out, also looking forward to seeing if Sniper Wolf's sister, Wolfie, will also release a public apology for threatening violence to Jack, continuing to harass him, telling people to look up his address, and insulting the people who called her out. Showing a picture of Wolfie telling Sully G to suck her nuts, responding to Star saying to Google Jack's film's address, showing Wolfie quote tweeting Jack's films, mocking him for not being able to fight in response to him talking about the docs, and of course, the infamous Instagram story where they joke about showing up to somebody's house. Zach James responds to Sully by saying, Nope, she just doubled down recently by retweeting this. He then shows the tweet that Wolfie retweets from Digital Next, who says, If he cares about the people she stole from, has he donated the money he's making off using her name and face in her videos back to the creators he should know who they are since he points them out? In all honesty, he could make one long video, but instead was like, damn, let's make multiple videos for months on her. And if he doesn't care about the money, why monetize the channel? I think after a certain point, his videos weren't about helping smaller creators. He just found that people love to hate on her and he could profit from it. Nicholas Diorio continues tweeting about this situation when he says, This Sniper Wolf situation is a culmination of everything I hate about modern YouTube drama. The fact that I'm Alex has had some of the most sane level coverage on the subject is a testament to how insane it's gotten in this space. YouTube gave the DGen millionaire a shekel timeout and just put more fuel on an angry mob. Tons of self inserts are making outrageous reaches. It's just a gross situation. Cavos tweeted out, SS Sniper Wolf is allegedly re-uploading content to her monetized channel to get around YouTube's punishment. Just shows how not sorry she actually is. Such bullshit. He then shows a Reddit post someone made that says, It's not violating YouTube's ban evasion policy if you re-upload your videos from a channel that isn't monetized on a monetized channel. Right? Showing that after Sniper Wolf got demonetized on YouTube, she got caught re-uploading main channel videos from 2017 onto her second channel. Mighty Keefe responds to Kavos by saying, I'm sure we are all in agreement that SS Sniper Wolf has in fact faced no punishment for doxing someone. Isn't that wild? OJ Player Essence says, Hey YouTube, pretty sure this is ban evasion and against YouTube TOS. Bingus Black says, A user from r slash Jaxfilm subreddit made a note about how SS Sniper Wolf is taking old videos from her main channel that is currently demonetized and putting them on a monetized alt channel. Do you think this is ban evading? Right up to their eye. <gasps> It's like Russian roulette. Don't. Moment. Don't. No, 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 no. Oh! Oh my god! No! Oh. Fucking hell! I want to watch this again. This is so awful. Please don't do this. Please don't try this at home. Oh! Oh my god! Oh. I'm surprised it didn't like break his glasses. What if he wasn't wearing glasses? Oh, oh my this god! This is the worst thing I've ever seen in my oh. life. Cinnamon Toast Ken responds by saying, Not surprising, but she's not banned, and her main channel is still no ad, so. The real Sully G quote tweets Bingus and says, It's not ban evading, since she was never banned from the platform. It does, however, prove how useless this punishment was. She thanks YouTube for holding her accountable, and then immediately evades all accountability, and YouTube will do nothing. Zach James also tweets about this when he says, now this is just insulting. YouTube didn't demonetize SS Sniper Wolf's second channel, which pulls in 15 million plus views a month, sometimes upwards of 35 plus million views. YouTube handled this so poorly between this and their temporary punishment and blaming both sides. Zach Jameson updates us with a Reddit comment team YouTube made where they say, Hi there. Jumping in to confirm that SS Sniper Wolf's top videos channel was also temporarily suspended from YouTube partnership program per our creator responsibility guidelines. 
Consistent with that policy, we applied the YouTube Partner Program suspension to the Creators Associated channel. Zach James comments on this by saying, Update via Team YouTube's Reddit account. Can confirm her second channel is now demonetized. Remember, this is only a temporary punishment. Real Sully G then shares the YouTube update that Zach James previously showed and captions it by saying, Again, not an outright win, but a step in the right direction. Continue to make your voices heard. Salty DK Dan reacts to YouTube demonetizing Sniper Wolf by saying, All I'm getting from the Sniper Wolf slash Jax film situation is that if you don't make enough money for YouTube, you can steal content without consent and dox people as much as you want and just get a slap on the wrist. Like, let's be real fucking honest. Not to throw around hypotheticals, but do you think if fucking Mr. Beast or PewDiePie did what Sniper Wolf did, do you really think they would be punished more than her? We have literal examples like Logan Paul in the Forest video too. Some people just like to throw gender into the equation for discourse like this, to help mentally justify being an incel, and find other people to sit with them in their little echo chamber. Kuyoya reacts to YouTube's decision by saying, I really hope YouTube gets that they only added fuel to the fire yesterday with this response to the situation. You've only escalated the issue beyond just SS Sniper Wolf and Jack. It's now a massive safety concern for all creators. To put it in perspective, if you are big enough, you now know you can get away with almost anything. You can harass, bully, or put in harm's way anybody you don't like, even if it's completely unjustified. It's something that worse people can now potentially take as a green light. OMG BS responds by saying, someone should do it to Sniper Wolf and see what they get as punishment. And then Cioya, I don't know how to say his name. Cryoya, Cioya, there's no R in it, so it would just be Cioya. So Cioya responds by saying, nobody should be doxxed ever, which I 100% agree with that. Don't dox for revenge. That's just illegal and dumb. So Jax Films never really commented on YouTube's punishment towards Sniper Wolf, but he did make this subtweet towards Sniper Wolf when he said, Scorpio season starts today. You can always spot a Scorpio. They are the crazy ones. <laughs> they like to have fun and are always down for a good time. Obviously referring to the fact that Sniper Wolf is a Scorpio and was born in 1992 at the 31 years old, she's doing this type of stuff, like an angry teenager or a young adult. Okay, moving on to Opera GX's response. They say, SS Scorpio, Circle Tunes HD response by saying, IP 92282123423, North 43.7, West 12.4, Numbers 697919, yeah, you get it. He's just doxing, he's fake doxing. Sora responds to Jack by saying, SS Sniper Wolf can't react to this tweet because she won't get paid. Swaggy Yolo Star says, that that's so funny. I'm freebooting this comment. Thanks. Brando VA says, I learned that these are scheduled tweets he sets up. Never knew that, lol. Hope you were doing okay. The community has your back. Everyone knows that what YouTube and Leah did was bullshit. You absolutely deserve better after all that's happened. I hope you don't give up because you did nothing wrong. So it seems like Jax Films is kind of going MIA from the internet for a bit while all of this blows over. But Jax Films' wife did have a couple things to say about the punishment when NBC News tweeted about it and someone responds by saying, should YouTube be interfering in personal issues between people? To which she responds, yes, when one of them docks the other and broke their terms of service. The film's wife continues to tweet about the situation when she says, but think about the shareholders. And when she mocks Sniper Wolf's response by saying, Jack's film because in Sniper Wolf's response, she couldn't even say Jack's film's channel name properly and forgot the S after film. Sora responds by saying, YouTube could have done better and earlier on, yet they waited almost an entire week to respond and all they did was demonetize her channel temporarily. Wavy Web Surf shows a picture of Sniper Wolf and Pokimane and captions it by saying, my platform lets me get away with anything starter pack. Papa Uwu X responds by saying, to think that Pokemon has openly said the n-word multiple times and still hasn't been cancelled while PewDiePie is targeted for absolutely no reason shows the double standards of online entertainment. Garland responds, quotation marks absolutely no reason, with a picture of a judging cat. Estefan responds by saying, these two aren't remotely comparable, what? And then Pokemon herself responds and ratios Wavy Web Surf when she says, I'm vehemently against doxing, especially as someone who has been doxxed, swatted, and stalked for years. This comparison is unnecessary, and I don't want to be part of your women can get away with anything agenda. I sincerely hope that YouTube helps Jack. I always try to apologize and do better when I make a mistake. It's okay if you haven't forgiven that yet, but please don't compare me to someone who committed a crime and put people's safety at risk. Gaming Witch responds by saying, 
I mean, he's not wrong. You do get away with shit no one else would. Wavy then quote tweets Pokemane himself and says, My tweet had nothing to do with you being a woman. Let me make that clear. The point was both you and Sniper Wolf are faces of your respective platforms, and because of your large influence and internal connections with these platforms, you get special treatment others wouldn't. Willie Macho quote tweets Pokemane and says, Pokimane may not dox, but she will certainly snitch on you to brands and video platforms in a petty attempt to get back at you. Really isn't that wild of a comparison. Every time either of them respond, it's the same pretending to be confused act with a fake laugh. Brody Fox makes some jokes about the situation when he tweets out this clip in the caption, SS Sniper Wolf dodging the consequences. And here is Kuyoda again, the guy who I can't say his name properly, Siyoa, posts this gif of the attack on Titan Titan, flipping people off, and says, Sniper Wolf after doxing, getting away with it, and uploading to her second channel to avoid the only tiny consequence she's gotten for committing a literal crime. Commander Carl tweets out these clips and says, Bella Porch getting her own TV show, and SS Sniper Wolf still getting to keep her channel, despite doxing another creator, is fucking peak pretty privilege. No one cares about talent talent anymore. All you need to be is good looking and you'll get the money and opportunities thrown at you. Cut. Okay, what am I doing on the show again? Uh, just like everything. Scary maze game. What's so scary about getting the mouse to- oh, you touch the black, you start over. You have to be very careful. Only precise. Ricky Berwick says, Gonna dress up a sniper wolf for Halloween and go trick or treating. Dark Viper AU says, SS Sniper Wolf was once getting 800 million views a month re uploading other people's TikToks. Yet, still, some people want to claim the reason reactors are popular is because of their reactions, rather than the reality that spamming out curated videos just games the algorithm. But don't worry, guys, it will all trickle down to people who do the work to make those videos any day now. Just wait and see. Someone needs to make a YouTube retrospective at the end of the year, where it just notes every week where the majority of commentary channels hated someone before everyone moved on and nothing changed. Was X QC last week, now Sniper Wolf. Wonder who it will be next. And to kind of address what Dark Viper AU is saying here, because obviously it applies to me as a commentary channel. Yes, different stories trend at different times, and I'm not going to be always making videos on the same subject once the discussion has been exhausted. But that doesn't mean I'm done with or happy with the result of what came out of the XQC controversy or any other controversy especially the misgift controversy, but I can't just make a million videos on the same topic. Different stuff happens, I don't have all the time in the day. Like, I don't really know what Dark Viper AU is getting at here. Does he expect people to just give a quick recap of like all the bad people who still haven't been punished by YouTube or the community for doing what they did? Just like at the beginning of every video, I do a quick one minute rundown of all the people that still need to be held accountable. That seems really repetitive. Like if people want to hear my current opinion on XQC, they can watch my previous videos on XQC because the opinion stayed the same. Nothing has changed. And when something does change, of course, I will notify you all on this channel, so if you don't want to miss any updates to that story, or the Sniper Wolf story, or whatever other story, be sure to subscribe with notifications on. If you're caught up with all the drama and still want something to watch, I recently did a Twitter space with the YouTubers Optimus, Some Ordinary Gamers, Actman, Chris the Narc, Nicholas Diorio, Keemstar, and someone who is actually in favor of Sniper Wolf, Vito. And that has been re-uploaded to my second channel. It's over an hour long, it's just a podcast, there's no visual but it is an interesting discussion. So that will be here on the end screen right now if you want to watch it. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one.